This is definitely the most unsafe house I have ever been in. That's a pretty cool fireplace. Ah, look at all the old light switches in here. It had its own private beach. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. So me and Aaron have come to check out a location which I don't think has been filmed before. Now this house has got something very, very special too. Let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay, so I think we're getting closer. Yes, we are. I can just about see the house over there. Whoa, okay, let's go and check this out. Okay guys, so we're now approaching the house. It's fairly obvious and it's in a bit of disrepair but most of these places are explore. But I cannot help but notice this tree. This tree is absolutely massive. It's blown down, but it still appears to be alive. I'm not sure what tree that is. It's got those fir cones on it. Look. That is absolutely massive. Cool, right, okay, here is the house. My goodness me, what a mess it's in. Now I don't know if this is the same house or not, it could be. But I remember years and years and years ago when I was in this area, I vaguely remember a story about a house fire. And I'm pretty sure somebody sadly lost their life in it. I don't know if this is the same house or not. It could be. I'll try and do a little bit of research and see if I can find out. But my God. That is one scary looking building. And now I need to try and find a way in. Now I don't know what's in there. I've never seen this house photographed or put on YouTube ever. So this is potentially a first. And for obvious reasons too. <laughs> it is extremely dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And it looks as if it's been empty for years. Right, I'm going to have a little walk around, see if I can try and find a way in. I think as possible we can. Okay guys, it's time to go into the house. Now, I am not going to lie, this is probably one of the scariest things I have ever done for my channel. This is definitely the most scariest house, most unsafe house that I've ever stepped foot in. You can see the floors completely collapsed through that room there. I'm looking at this, this is probably going to be the safest way to go first. So I'm going to take a walk down here. Ooh, that doesn't feel very safe either. Ooh. Just look at these windows. How old do you think this house is? It's got some lovely features in here, it really has. I'm guessing this was probably once the 
the main lounge. Just look at the size of the room, it's huge. Absolutely massive. Now, I don't really want to walk along that door, so I'm going to step around it. I don't want to put a foot through it and damage it. Oh, wow, look at the fireplace. That's pretty cool. Look at the old tiles. The peacocks. Is that a snowy egret? That's pretty nice as well, look. The old handle for the fire. And the old lampshade out there. With the bulb still hanging. Now, it looks as if they've got some kind of reinforcement in here with the scaffolding holding the floors up. So I'm guessing this is probably a listed building. If they've gone to that effort to try and keep it standing. But if I'm honest with you guys, this house isn't going to be standing much longer. Looking at the size of the cracks dotted around. I mean, oh, I'm actually really scared walking around in here. I just don't know what's going to happen. Look at the old cast iron radiator here in this, this massive, massive bay window surrounded by overgrown plants outside. And the old shutters as well. Look, we've got another light hanging up there on the wall. And that's how low down I am. This is actually, well, the floor level would have been around here somewhere, at the bottom of the skirting board. But I'm actually probably two or three feet deep, standing, walking around in the foundations. Okay, well, I think that's that room done. Let's go and see how much further I dare go. This has got a bit of a, a hill house feel to it, this property. It's really, really creepy. Really creepy. A lampshade hanging up there. Oh God. Okay, probably the first, most scariest room I'm gonna walk in today. I'm not gonna go too far. I think it's pretty obvious why. The old shutters all open up over there. Got an old lampshade hanging about. Oh my God, I can feel the floor moving. I can actually feel the floor sinking as I walk on it. This is terrifying. This really is terrifying. And the old fireplace there. Old tiles. Not the nicest of colours, but they're obviously water damaged. Got another cast iron radiator here. With the old bleed valve on the corner. It's pretty cool that one, I like that. Got another fireplace. This is made of oak. Look at the detail that's gone into that. It's probably worth a fortune. And we've got some more bottles down there. One of them's still got the cork in the top. Okay, Ooh. it gets scarier and scarier. Every footstep I take, my heart races that little bit faster. Now you're not gonna be able to see this, but every time I put a foot down, the floor is actually moving. That's how rotten it is. Okay, well there's no floor in this, this room either. The joists are still here. Fireplace, really, really nice. Huge bay window. Wow, this would have been one spectacular house back in its day. It really would have been. Okay, guys, now it's getting really scary now. This floor is ready to go, I kid you not. I can feel it. Oh, my God. I can feel it going. Look at that. That is a chimney breast. That is actually the main chimney breast, which is falling through. Look at the old cast iron. Is that a sink or a bath? I think it's an old sink. With all the pipe work, the old cast iron pipe work still attached to it. Now there is absolutely no way I am going any further than that. God knows what's above me here, ready to fall down on my head. So we've got an old toilet in there, but again, guys, this floor 
is absolutely rotten. Look at that. Okay, I know what's down there. That's the basement. Oh my God. Oh my God, it is completely flooded. It is completely flooded. Okay, so we're not gonna be going down there. Whoa. Terrifying, absolutely terrifying this is. Now, the stairs do look pretty solid, but I don't know how much I trust them, if I'm honest. I'm not gonna go too far in this house because it is damn right dangerous, it really is. But at the same time, it is absolutely gorgeous. Spectacular house. It really, really is. It's just derelict room after derelict room. The, the ceilings are completely collapsed. No way, look at that. That is terrifying, that really is terrifying. Wow. So you can just about, I'm not gonna go too far because I'm crapping myself right now. The old cast iron bath there. That's where the chimney breast was. It's come down on the room below us. Oh, I cannot go any further than that. That floor is so spongy. God. <laughs> Whew. Okay, well, we've got loads of light here. Don't need the torch here because as you can see, there is no roof. The roof is completely missing. Now, sadly, we can't go up any higher. I'm just gonna stick my head in here. Oh my God, look at that. The roof has gone over there too. Oh. Got another fireplace over there, looks pretty cool. I think we've still got the curtains hanging up in this room. Can you believe that? The curtains are still hanging up. What's that there, look? Little bottle or something. Navy blue. <laughs> God, what how many years that's been there for? Well guys, I think that is pretty much as far as I'm gonna go with this house because it is so dangerous. I'm gonna go and catch up with Aaron outside. I think he's taking some pictures of the property outside. I'll try and get back out in one piece if I can. <laughs> Do you know, I've never actually looked in here when I came up. Oh wow, look at that, that's creepy. That's really creepy. I don't know what that is hanging up, it looks like an old rubber hose or something. Oh no, I don't like that, okay. It's time to get out of here. Okay guys, I am not gonna lie. I'm pretty glad to be out of here. <laughs> that was terrifying. Even getting into this house, I mean, you can see how dangerous it is, look. Wow. <laughs> and Aaron's waiting over there patiently for me. Did you get your pictures? Sorry? You get your pictures? Yeah, you nice, cool. Right, okay, time to get out of here. So this is like how dangerous this house is, like just getting out I mean, I've got to slide down the roof, which was once above my head. Find you a break, right? Yeah, might be an idea. Ooh. I'm surprised the lead's still here, actually. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Now look, the copper cylinder is even still here. <laughs> that is unreal. That just shows that not a lot of people have been here and not a lot of people know about it. Wow. Officially the most scariest house I've ever stepped foot in. Okay, so I can't help but notice there is an open door to a part of the house which I haven't actually been in. I'm just gonna have a little quick, a very quick peek inside. Now, straight away I can see the old cast iron water tank hanging from the ceiling, which is literally ready to fall down. Um, there's a lot of tiles which have been stored up in there 
and I'm pretty sure that is the other side of the room that I looked through earlier. So it's not really worth going in there, risking my life, just to show you guys something you've probably already seen. Look at that, you can see all the old jars hanging through the ceiling there. That's crazy. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna pull that too. Okay guys, so we're back outside now and we're walking down to the beach. This house actually had its own beach. Now it's on a massive plot of land, absolutely massive. I can only imagine that developers are gonna to wanna to build on here sooner or later. But I just gotta go and have a look at this. I mean, can you imagine living in a house that's got your own beach? That's just insane, it really is. Now it's probably about a five minute walk down here we have to fight our way through all the brambles as usual. I've just noticed this old scaffolding. I'm not sure what that's actually for. Just a random scaffolding in the back of the garden. Bungee jump. Bungee jump, yeah, it could be. Seems a bit extreme for a tree surgeon, but maybe, who knows? Health and safety these days. That's Crazy. Is. Yeah. Now, as you can see, the beach is just down here. This is absolutely incredible. I cannot believe, <laughs> I cannot believe it, I really can't. Can you imagine having this in your back garden? This is probably one of the most impressive gardens I've ever been to, it really is. I can already see the gate has been locked. Now I have to be quiet here, I've just noticed that the neighbours' houses are just there. We're pretty close. Oh, it's okay, it's only a bit of rope. That's what we'll do, we'll untie this, but we'll tie it back up when we go. Because I don't like leaving things the way I didn't find them. Okay, so there we go, there we go, that's it. Now look at this, it had its own bench. Wow, <laughs> this is incredible, absolutely amazing. Wow, I honestly don't know what to say. <laughs> this is definitely the most impressive abandoned house I've ever explored, purely for this. Its own private beach. Absolutely incredible. And look, I've just noticed this beach is actually made up of shells. Thousands and thousands of shells. How strange. I say that like the stones mainly there but here shells. Maybe it's because they're lighter and they just end up sitting here, I don't know. There's a really long one there. Well wow. Okay, it's time to make a move. Okay guys, so we've just tied the gate back up, as we found it, like I said. We're gonna head back up to the house now, take a few more pictures, and then I think we're gonna make a move. Right guys, it's time to make a move. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explore underscore. I will also link Aaron's Instagram in the description below. Also go and check out the Facebook page. I've put all the pictures on there that I've taken today, and we will see you on the next Explore soon.